Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Very excited to have Jerry with Jerry's Custom Vans back on the channel. Today, he's gonna give us a tour of his latest creation on a Ram Promaster chassis. So join us. Well, thanks Patrick for having me back again. I've been building vans since uh, January of 2020. This is my sixth van I've done. And uh, I retired from doing home improvements a couple of years ago, and I'm doing this in my retirement, enjoying it. Uh, this is my latest build. It's a 2021 Ram Promaster, brand new. It's got less than 400 miles on it, and I just finished it, so come on in and take a look. As you can see, it's got uh, swivel on both driver and passenger seats, L the Lagoon table mount that swivels over to here and there. You could actually seat four uh, for eating. We've got the uh, Apple CarPlay that's wireless. So as soon as you get in with your phone, it automatically connects. Over here, we have the privacy curtains that can close up so you can have privacy at night. We have um, LVP flooring, which is uh, waterproof. So in case there's any spillage, uh, there's no problem. We have some storage underneath here that uh, also acts as a foot rest uh, because of the height of the, uh, the seating area in the ProMasters. We have a uh, chest refrigerator freezer that, uh, that's 40 uh, quart, I believe, 40, maybe 44, and uh, slides right in, out of the way, easy convenience. Little storage here on the side. We have our cushions here. As you can see, we have outlets for if you're doing work on the table. We see the ceiling and the walls are made with a shiplap. The insulation is a rock wool insulation uh, that fits into every nook and cranny. The nice thing about the rock wool is that it does not uh, mold in case for some reason it does get wet. And so that's all throughout the van. Uh, we also have a, a cabinet right here for storage. Build a little shelf for, for extras that you always need space. Moving on to the shower, we see that uh, the exterior of the shower is a, um, is a hardwood plywood painted. The inside of the shower, um, the shower dimensions are 24 by 36. Uh, we have a FRP, uh, which is a fiberglass board on the ceiling the sides, and then we have tile in the back. We have a little cubby, uh, storage area for your uh, shampoo and body wash. Uh, dumps into a shower pan uh, with a cedar grate that I made, which goes into a 20 gallon gray water tank. We have the, uh, uh, the faucets here with a, uh, actually a shut off here on the shower head that's a water saver. So you lather up, you turn it off, uh, you, uh, you soap up and then you uh, can turn it back on to rinse off. Water is a premium at this point. We have the Nautilus shower door uh, that closes here and then it squeegees the back of it when it opens. And then there's a cassette toilet here that can be upgraded to a compost or another kind of toilet if, if you so like. It can be taken out, removed, can be used inside or outside. Uh, has an easy uh, come apart feature, can be dumped in any toilet. On the curb side of the van, we have the, uh, the kitchen area, uh, which we have an uh, inch and a half butcher block top, uh, which we have the induction stove, uh, microwave, uh, we have two drawers, uh, trash can, and then our gauge and our switches, our water uh, turn off for our water pump here, our gauge for our 20 gallon fresh water tank, and then the switch that operates our ball valve to empty the gray water tank. And then down here is another cabinet for storage underneath the microwave. We have a deep sink uh, here uh, with a uh, swivel faucet that can go inside or out with a pull out that easily comes in and out. We have our, uh, our switches here, the switch for the shower light, the switch for the main lights here with a dimmer. And then the cabinet's made out of uh, hardwood plywood again. Uh, the shaker style uh, doors were made from, um, uh, from a uh, finished pine. On the back wall here, we have the um, battery monitor, which you see uh, the amount of battery you have left and what you're using along the way, depending on uh, uh, the, the fixtures that you're using. We have the 3000 watt inverter. 
which just is a touch which turns on. You hear the little beep that uh, indicates it's coming on. And then you can use your outlets, your microwave, your stove that just beeped on. Uh, you can turn on your uh, water heater from here which is a six gallon water heater that's a, that I can talk a little bit more about later, but it's a uh, heat exchange water heater. We have outlets, USB, extra cubby for storage. We have our carbon monoxide alarm here that's there because we do have a diesel heater that uh, extends out from here. While we're looking at this, we have three drawers here that are in the uh, bureau underneath the, uh, the bed. And at the bottom, we have a step up, up into the bed makes it easy to get in without having to jump up and hit your head on the ceiling. Above the, uh, the bed here on the foot side, we have uh, three, uh, three cabinets for storage. We have bunk windows on each side that are sliding with screens to give you uh, airflow within that. We also have a air cooler uh, that's made by a company named Easy Breezy that uh, is a water, uh, water base that has no com compressor and then it runs water uh, through the system, which brings down the temperature in the room anywhere from 10 to 30 degrees, depending on the humidity. We have lights over the reading lights over the bed, which also have the USB connections to charge your phone at night. And this is a queen size, uh, eight inch uh, inner spring mattress. That's the RV size, just a little shorter, but it fits in here perfectly. At the head of the bed, we have the control for the diesel heater. Uh, to be able to turn it off and on. It's just the dial control. As you can see under the bed, we use these bed rails from Ikea that have slats on them. Uh, it's important to have good ventilation. They can easily come apart with a uh, cordless drill to uh, take things apart if so needed. Access to everything. Uh, we have access to our water pump over here, which you can get in from the back. Uh, I, I made sure uh, tops would come off to get to anything that we may need to get to. Let's go around back and I'll uh, look at our uh, battery system and water system. I want to let you know that uh, it was designed and put together by Evan Tice from Appalachian Vans. He did a great job putting it all together. One of my other vans, I did all of that myself. Um, and uh, this was a is a plug and play system. Uh, made it so much easier. Uh, we just had to hook up all my wires from everything else. He had it all ready for me and uh, it's operated flawlessly. Uh, this is, we have uh, in here 300 amp hour batteries. Uh, Renergy, they're lithium batteries. So they can actually go down almost to nothing without affecting them. Unlike the, uh, the gel batteries, which you're only supposed to take down to 50%. We have a 3000 watt inverter that we saw, er we heard earlier, and we have a solar controller, uh, DC to DC uh, charging, so when the van's running, the, the batteries are charging. Where well, the lights are blinking here, this is the solar controller for our 350 watts of solar panels that are on the roof. Right here is the fuel tank for my uh, diesel heater. This easily comes out, sets on the ground, so if there's any spillage, when you're filling it, can be cleaned up and put back without having all that put back into the van. It slides right back into place very nicely. Close the door, you can watch uh, the, uh, the level from, uh, the, from the glass there. In, inside this little box here is the diesel heater, which I also have a vent that comes out the back to keep this area warm, so it keeps the mattress warm for sleeping uh, during cold nights. On this side, we have the uh, heat exchange water heater by Kuma. Uh, it's a six gallon water heater. Uh, these are the antifreeze lines from the engine, so while you're driving, it's actually heating the water in the tank, uh, so you have water to go uh, to take a shower immediately. It has an electric backup that's connected to the inverter that's probably best to uh, heat it with the engine and then uh, let, the, let the electric back it up in case you need more. Uh, the drains and the pressure relief comes off of here. Uh, I also have a, um, a bypass here so this can be uh, winterized so we can drain the tank but let the uh, but with, but with the bypass here, it allows us to uh, just bring the antifreeze through the water lines and not have to fill it up with the whole tank. We have our shutoffs here. We have our low point drain here, which also is the way you fill your antifreeze. Uh, we just do every, it just does everything in reverse. I have a filter here that comes back from the 
uh, air cooler uh, to, uh, to protect the water going back into the tank. This is the, uh, the fill line from outside. If you follow me around, I'll show where you connect it. It's a simple uh, thing. It's, it's, the hose slides on. You just screw it fast from here. I usually include a filter uh, with this uh, to try to get as pure water as we can. On this side, we have the, uh, the shore power connection. In times past, I usually just put them on the sides, but uh, I saw where uh, someone had done put it right into the, um, the trim here, which makes it uh, a little more stealthy, easier to get to, and you can hook up shore power and power everything from, from household electric. This van is for sale. I have it listed for $105,500. I don't do custom builds for people, but I do. Uh, this is as my retirement uh, hobby, I guess. I build them and then I sell them. Jerry, always a pleasure to have you on the channel. I love what your creations are. And I see things improve and progress from our first time we featured in the channel till today. One of the things that really stood out to me today is the battery system that you have in this van compared to some of the other vans. Now we have 300 amp hours lithium ion phosphate batteries by Renergy. You have a 3000 watt inverter, 350 watts of solar on the roof. That's plenty of power to have someone off the grid for a pretty it, long period of time. It really is, it really is. And as long as you um, monitor what you're doing, and not, not going crazy with that, it should keep you for, uh, for what you need. Sunny days are great, and if you're able to uh, charge with shore power, you can keep on going for as long as you need. Now this one will sell pretty quickly. Can you tell us about your next build? What are your plans for that? Well, I have that I, I have a brand new 2022 that's due in, I, I'm told next month. Uh, it it's, has some features. It's gonna be the same size, and it will, um, I'm debating whether to change the floor plan layout or not. I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, I'd be open to any comments people have and uh, always willing to try new things. Well, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I love it, and we'll see you soon.